Hey there, it's Megan here from Little Pink Bike, and I'm here with another step-by-step -step video. I recently purchased the enclosed flower dies from Paper Tray Inc.'s February 2015 release. I thought it'd be fun to create a shaped card with them. I really enjoyed creating this card, so I thought it might be fun to try to use up some of my patterned paper stash and make a few more. Even though this card doesn't look like it uses patterned paper, it does. It's just red patterned paper. Now this one is easy to see. I definitely use patterned paper. Just before I started this card, I decided to turn on my video camera and film it while I created it. Here are some of the supplies that I used. I used the Perfect Bow die from Simon Says Stamp, and there's the enclosed flower dies from Paper Tray Ink. I kind of think the smell sentiment's fun. Then I used my well-loved fruit stand paper from Doodlebug Design. I really want to finish up as many sheets from this pack as I can. You can see I don't have very much left. I've really used a lot of it. Here's the second card I made. The red's actually patterned paper from the fruit stand 6x6 paper pad. You can see where I put the little hinge there so that the card can stand up. And here's the very first card I made with the Doodlebug papers. The bow's actually made with a piece of paper from the Echo Park 6x6 paper pad Hello Summer. I just added a clothespin and a bit of baker's twine. Off camera, I die cut all the bits and pieces I would need for the card. I die cut the flower backer from some Recollections 110 pound cardstock and then scored it about a half an inch from the top. I die cut the top or the small portion of the card from the same 110 pound Recollections cardstock. I really love using that cardstock for card bases. And then I die cut the same top piece from some patterned paper from the fruit stand 6x6 paper pack. I decided to use Tombow Mono Multi Glue to adhere the frame to the backer. I thought about using dry adhesive, but I knew that there would be lots of dry adhesive hanging out everywhere where I didn't want it, so I decided Tombow Mono was the way to go. And it gave me a bit of wiggle room when I was adhering the two pieces together because they are shaped and I wanted to get them just right. I seem to get little bits and pieces of adhesive everywhere and so I use my adhesive eraser all the time and it takes it off super fast. Now I'm just adding Tombow Mono to all of the little cracks on the top half of the card and then I will pop the patterned paper piece in there. It's kind of like making a puzzle. It's kind of fun. Now I did put a little bit of glue in the dot for the eye until I realized I didn't actually have the little cardstock piece. I ended up having to cut another one with the die because I lost the first one. So after going back to my die cutting machine and cutting another dot for the eye, I adhere it in place. Then I'm going to adhere that little teeny sliver of patterned paper in the circle part of the E to finish it up. When I'm making paper bows, I always like to condition the cardstock or the patterned paper. This time I'm using my bone folder to warm it up and get it going the way I want it to go. And some glue dots to hold the centers in there. And I just use one glue dot to put the very center part there. And I always cut apart those tails. I really like them sticking out to the side, not down below. Off camera, I tied a bow with some baker's twine, just adhering it to the front of the cardstock bow and putting the clothespin on the top. I really had to push the clothespin wide open to get it on there. In order to have everything sit flush, I have to add two layers of foam adhesive. I'm using fairly thin foam adhesive, so I really needed two layers here to make it sit flat. And I decided to add some score tape on the back of the clothespin so that it would really, really stick and not come off. Nothing worse than a piece of your card falling off after you've given it to someone. 
And here's the finished card. There's the other card that I made with the patterned paper, and then the one that looks like it's cardstock, but it's really patterned paper. Here are all three cards together. I think they're actually kind of cute. I really like the shape. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step video. If you'd like more information, please head over to my blog at littlepinkbike.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching!